Chico High School seniors to the Chico High School 2021 Awards and Scholarship Night. My name is Doug Williams. I'm honored to be the principal at Chico High School, and I will be the MC for this event tonight. Uh, welcome to those who are streaming from off-site. Uh, we are at the Center for the Arts, and we have what we think is going to be a very classy uh, presentation for these unbelievable students that are in front of me. Um, before we begin with our awards, uh, I want to say that I think all the students that have gone through high school in the last couple years, in particular this year's senior class, deserve everybody's praise, whether they're an award winner or not. Uh, I also want to say thank you to all of the foundations, the scholarships from local and regional and state programs, because uh, as everything this year, it's been kind of difficult for people to communicate and for people to connect. Uh, and so your ability to kind of remain patient through this whole thing is much appreciated um, because these students are going to benefit greatly um, from your donations. Um, and I know that they're gonna go on and do wonderful things. Um, so I'm gonna kind of lead you through the show a little bit as you're watching so you can follow along. Basically, there are three kind of parts to this scholarship night, uh, or three types of donorships that happen. Um, each one of these is connected to either a family uh, or an institution uh, or an organization. So some of these scholarships come from institutions like colleges. Some of these scholarships come from private donate donations from families. And some of them come for, um, from philanthropic organizations like the Kiwanis or Lions Club. So I want to say thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. So uh, without further ado, I want to introduce the first uh, of our speaker um, to read the names to the presentation of these awards. I'd like them both to stand up. First is Assistant Principal, Ms. Sarah Pasillas. And second, uh, new to the Chico High Panther family, and we love it, is our counselor, Ann McMahon. So without further ado, we will begin with the first scholarship as presented by Ms. Sarah Pasillas. Hello and good evening, everybody. Tonight, the first award goes for academic excellence presented from the office of Senator Nielsen. The following students are being honored with the award for academic excellence from the office of Senator Nielsen. These students have worked very hard to graduate in the top 5% of the Chico High School class of 2021. Congratulations to these students for this impressive accomplishment. Our first recipient is Ellie Aguirre. <clears throat> Benjamin Alonso. <clears throat> Bailey Barber, who is unable to attend tonight. <clears throat> Isabel Bourne. Kiana Boyd. Kaslyn Brooks. Anna Calvert. Aisha Kamara. Aubrey Ertl. Brianna Garman. Jack Jerry. Amanda Harris. Desi Hawkins. Jack Hervey. Ian. 
Ethan Kyle. Elise Lyon. Elizabeth Lyon. Chloe Meyer. Audrey Moore. Elisa Negahadari. Avery Odell. Seda Peavy. Miles Strelecki. And Caden Strong. Congratulations to all of the recipients of the Award for Academic Excellence from the Officer of from the office of Senator Nielsen. Hello. I am honored tonight to present the Mayor's Award, the City of Chico Mayor's Award. The following students were nominated for the City of Chico Mayor's Award for exhibiting the following characteristics. Leadership, positive attitude, inspiration to others, community service, and scholastic achievement. The recipients of this award go to Elise Lyon. Anthony Bairden. and Elizabeth Lyon. The next award I will be presenting tonight is a Rotary Citizenship Awards. The Chico Noon Rotary recognizes students who exemplify the goal of Rotary, service above self. These two individuals have demonstrated outstanding leadership and philanthropy throughout high school and are receiving a certificate and small monetary token of appreciation. The recipients of this awards are Jack Hervey. Anna Hicks. The next awards I will be presenting are from the United States Marine Corps. There are a total of three. One is the Scholastic Excellence Award, one is the Distinguished Athlete Award, and one is the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence. Every year, the Marine Corps takes pride in recognizing outstanding performances in academics, athletics, and music. All three fields exemplify the qualities that are inherent to the Marine Corps. Smart, tough, and elite. In this day and age, mental strength has joined physical fitness as the distinguishing hallmarks of a Marine. The Marine Corps is recognizing these outstanding students in three disciplines. For academics, the Scholastic Excellence Award. For athletics, the Distinguished Athlete Award, and for music, the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence. These awards go to, for the Scholastic Excellence Award, Mr. Desi Hawkins. The Distinguished Athlete Award goes to Tessa Kinney.
and the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence, Elijah Bear. The next scholarship I'll be presenting is the Air Force Math and Science. The Air Force is pleased to present the prestigious Air Force Math and Science Award honoring our top graduating seniors in math and science. The Air Force applauds students whom accept the challenges required to excel in today's sophisticated environment. We would like to honor those students whom have put forth the extra effort necessary to achieve their goals in both math and science. These awards go to Brianna Garman. Ethan Kyle. Bailey Barbara Barber, which is not present. Jack Hervey. The next scholarship I will be presenting is the EAL Female Scholar Athlete. Student athletes at Chico High School are challenged to be the best they can be on the court and on the field. To be considered the best of the best, student athletes put their best effort forth in the classroom as well. Each year, the Eastern Athletic League awards two scholarships to graduating seniors, one male and one female. For their successes in sports, their strength in the classroom, and their contributions as student leaders on campus. Chico High is proud to have one of our own selected for this prestigious award. Picked from the six largest schools north of Sacramento, this student is Aisha Kamara. So I kind of want to have you guys reminisce. Sometimes we get in these award shows and we kind of rip through them and say the names, but there's just an unbelievable amount of hours. I want you guys to think about the hours it takes to do everything you need to do to win a math award from the Air Force or the hours it took to be a top athlete or the hours it took to be recognized by our California Senate. It's not just the 35 seconds across the stage. It's, it's not unnoticed by people. I wish we had more time to talk to each and every one of you, but it's the hours that you put in from when you were six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. Um, don't let that go unnoticed in your mind. You guys have achieved a lot in just 18 years. So uh, kudos go out to you. Um, our next group of awards are from uh, organizations and private scholarships. And so everything you hear presenting in this group are, are organizations that have a set of standards and then students apply and they're either accepted for those standards or not. Um, and so without further ado, um, we will begin our organization scholarships. The Chico Unified Teachers Association presents this award to students recognized by staff who have added positively to the Chico High campus and culture, and are a deserving student based on both academic and extracurricular accomplishments. These scholarships go to member, well the first one is a member dependent scholarship, Zachary Plants. The Graduating Senior Scholarship, Ms. Hunter Thomas. Another Graduating Senior Scholarship, Emily Arroyo.
Graduating Senior Scholarship, Jaria Blake. And now we have the California School Employees Association Awards. CSCA Chapter 110 recognizes the great effort from classified employees and offers a scholarship to qualified high school seniors who have a family member that is a current CSCA member and is selected based on academic standing, community service, and an essay describing their vocational and academic goals. Congratulations to Hunter Thomas. and Oscar Medina. <clears throat> the Chico High School PTSA scholarships are given to graduating high school seniors from Chico High School. The scholarship is for use at an accredited college, university, community college, trade, or technical school. This scholarship is to recognize volunteer service in the school and the community. Our first recipient is Anthony Bearden. And Ellie Aguirre. Allison Richelieu. Elizabeth Pena. and Noah Eisenman. The Chico Elks Ladies Group number 423 select an overall outstanding local senior student who is a relative of a past or present Elk and exhibits excellence in academics and has a history of community service. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Cole Cordy. Our next award comes from the Bridging the Gap for Breast Cancer Fund. This is supported by the Women's Golf Club of Canyon Oaks and is pleased to provide financial assistance by awarding students to further their education. Their hope is that the scholarship will ease the emotional and financial burden of students who have had a loved one with breast cancer diagnosis. The scholarship will be set up as a grant at the college or university of the student's choice, which can be used for tuition or fees and books. This year, two Chico High School students have been selected for this scholarship. Congratulations to Catherine Hill, And congratulations to Connor Pugh. <clears throat> Our next scholarship comes from the, the Vincenzo Bellini Lodge, the Sons and the Daughters of Italy. The Sons and Daughters of Italy, uh, v Vincenzo B Bellini Lodge, present this scholarship in memory of Reno and Stella Ricci Memorial to a student demonstrating academic success and who has been involved in their school and community. Congratulations to Ellie Aguirre. <laughs> Don't be sorry. <laughs> Um, the next awards come from our Chico Kiwanis Key Club. The Chico Kiwanis Club of Chico is pleased to honor these students with a scholarship for their service to the Key Club and their community. Our first recipient is Catalina Rodriguez. Robin Medina. and Anne Sarmiento. <clears throat> Our next scholarship is the Dr. David and Amy Hahn Scholarship. 
David Hahn graduated at the top of his class of 1991. He was an outstanding scholar athlete who is now a hospitalist physician at Enlo Hospital. He married a Chico High grad as well and they feel strongly about giving back to their alma mater. This is not a scholarship students can apply for, but rather they are chosen by a committee for their outstanding academic performance and solid work ethic. Our recipients this year are Greta Kuhn. Kayla Kirsch. And Miles Strelecki. Our next award comes from the Peace Officers Research Associ Association. And this year's recipient is Emily Borgman. The Class of 2021 Community, Organization, and University Scholarships. During this section of the program, we will be honoring students who have either informed us of receiving community and university scholarships, or the organizations have reached out to us directly to share this information. We recognize that so many of our students are receiving scholarships that we may not be aware of at this time, so we would like to congratulate them all. The first scholarship is the State Scholarship by Cabrillo Community College in Aptos. Cabrillo State Scholarship honors Ava Martinez because of her Portuguese descent and she was found to possess, among other things, these high qualities of character, honor, promise, scholarship, leadership, and service. Qualities which are necessary for the preservation and protection of the fundamental institutions of our government and the advancement of society. The State Scholarship Award, Elk's Most Valuable Student recipient is Ava Martinez. The Radford University Highlander Distinction Scholarship Award. Jenna DiMaggio received the Highlander Distinction Scholarship Award in a monetary amount of $7,000, and she will be attending Radford University in the fall of 2021. Pretty impressive stuff, huh? So uh, we're gonna move on now to our second of our, our larger three uh, scholarship kind of groupings. Uh, this one is from the Chico High Foundation Scholarship. So as you know, you've, you've heard organizations and regions, but actually um, the town of Chico, the community of Chico, and the families of Chico actually give the majority of our scholarships, which I think really, uh, it really shows you how much education is valued in Chico. And I want you to remember that, you know, when you pay it forward, when you get a scholarship and you guys become, you know, unbelievably successful, that you remember that uh, somebody helped you kind of that leg up. And uh, that's definitely what the Chico community uh, models. Um, the Chico High Foundation was founded in 2003 under the leadership of former Chico High principal Roger Williams. He was my principal. No relation, but a great name. He passed away in October 2010, and Roger's vision was to create a foundation with the mission of raising money to fund scholarships, school projects, and classroom needs. Many generous families, organizations, and individuals have made the following scholarships available for Chico High students. And so all of the, the, the scholarships in the next segment, um, they're all the fruit, the born fruit from one person's idea and organization. So, um, let's remember Mr. Williams, not this Mr. Williams, but 
Mr. Roger Williams, and we'll proceed with the next section of our scholarships. And I'm back. The Chico High Staff Roger Williams Memorial. Chico High Staff Scholarship in Memory of Mr. Roger Williams. This scholarship funded and selected by Chico High Staff honors students who have demonstrated a true commitment toward Chico High in thought, word, and deed. The recipients to this scholarship are Miss Ellie Aguirre, <laughs> Kayla Kirsch, and Avery Odell. The Selden Maddox Science. It is with tremendous enthusiasm that the Science Department has chosen Audrey Moore to receive the Maddox Scholarship for 2021. Audrey has taken almost every science class that is offered at Chico High School, which includes AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and Anatomy and Physiology. She has excelled in every class and shown that her ability to think critically in solving problems that are both concrete and abstract is, as, is at the top of her class. Audrey's love of science goes beyond the classroom. She is a nature photographer, she's a beekeeper, and a mycologist. Audrey will be attending UC Davis next year, majoring in chemistry and minoring in fungal biology and ecology. It is an honor to have had Audrey as a student at Chico High, and we wish her all the best. Chico High Class of 1961. This award is given to a student who has demonstrated interest and talent in the field of arts and humanities, including art, drama, and music. Class alumni who have remained active in these pursuits select this recipient. This scholarship goes to Lily Crawford. The Chico High Class of 1969. The CHS Class of 1969 is happy to present two scholarships in the fields of engineering and industrial arts to the Chico Senior High Class of 2021. The scholarships for further education are for individuals who have values in work ethic, positive character, integrity, determination and adversity, and compassion for others. These are the values of the class of 1969 and what they choose to recognize and embrace. The recipient of this scholarship is Ms. Carly Hawkins. And Mr. Dalton Ramey. The next scholarship I'm introducing is the Chico High School Alumni. This award is funded by the sale of the commemorative bricks which decorates the stadium entrance. The foundation board selects a student who is a child of a Chico High alumni who has been an active Panther throughout high school. The recipient of this award is Miss Greta Kuhn. The Paiva Family Scholarship. This scholarship was established in memory of Tony Paiva, a longtime Butte County farmer and 1956 CHS graduate. He worked with his brother, Jim, at Paiva Hauling and Shelly, Shelling for nearly 30 years and also owned and operated Tony's Orchard Recycling. Tony was a true farmer at heart and his family honors a student who loves agriculture as well. This scholarship goes to Mr. Dalton Ramey. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. Our next scholarship comes from the Claude Munlu Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is in memory of Claude Munlu. He was known he was known as he was a well-known and highly respected ag welding and project construction teacher and FFA advisor at Chico High School. Throughout his 36 years in the classroom, Claude taught his students practical construction, computational and organizational skills that led to immediate employment and successful careers. Claude believed that all students could be successful. He had an uncanny ability to motivate and never allowed his students to quit. Claude passed away in February, so this is the first award from this scholarship. He had the privilege of meeting the awardee and seeing the quality of his previous projects. Claude was very impressed with this young man and knew he had outstanding potential. Please join us as we celebrate Claude Munlu's positive influence on our Chico High Ag welding students by presenting the first memorial scholarship to Dalton Ramey. <clears throat> the next award is from the Bertagna family. This scholarship was established by brothers Ben, Nick, and Andy Bertagna. The Bertagna brothers all attended Chico High and were very involved in the Ag Department as well as Chico FFA. Recognizing the impact that these programs have on students, the Bertagnas want to recognize an outstanding student and FFA member. The scholarship is based on grades, FFA involvement, and a plan to pursue a career in agriculture. The winners for this award are Dalton Ramey, and Carly Hawkins. Our next award is the Press Powell Memorial Scholarship. Press Powell was, a first, was first a vocational agricultural teacher and then a private business owner. He was a supporting member of the FFA Parent Booster Club at Chico High. He greatly believed in the FFA organization and its support of our youth. This award recognizes a student who has been an active and involved leader in FFA. The winner for this year is Mr. Dalton Ramey. <clears throat> Our next award is the Harry Merlot Scholarship. This scholarship was founded by Harry Merlot, who is now deceased, the former CEO of Sierra Pacific Industries, to recognize an agriculture student who embodies the qualities that Harry valued most, hard work and perseverance. This year's recipient is Carly Hawkins. Our next scholarship is from the Friends of Agriculture. This scholarship was established by local farmers who wanted to promote agriculture edu education at Chico High School. This group has funded a variety of welding, livestock and horticulture projects, as well as purchasing computers and a large van to transport students to various FFA competitions. Students receiving these scholarships plan to pursue a career in agriculture. This year's recipients are Dalton Ramey, and Carly Hawkins. Our next scholarship is the Rick Sinquini Scholarship. Rick Sinquini was a 1973 Chico High alumni and true farmer who believed in the value of hard work, helping others, and instilling the love of agriculture in the youth of our community. He had a great big personality and never met a stranger. His booming voice and great laugh are legendary, and he was happiest writing or fixing a piece of farm equipment. To honor Rick and his life's work, his friends and family established a scholarship in his name to recognize students who have earned a minimum 2.0 GPA and who plan to attend a two or four year college or vocational program and major in the agriculture related field. This year's recipients are Carly Hawkins,
and Dalton Ramey. <clears throat> Our next award is the Dorothy Ramon Memorial. Dorothy Ramon was a longtime and beloved Spanish teacher at Chico High. <clears throat> Her family and fellow teachers established this award to honor a top Spanish student who plans to use the language in their career in some way. The Dorothy Ramon Award recognizes a graduating senior who not only demonstrates excellence in Spanish, but also shows a great passion for the culture of Spanish speakers. It is also important that the recipient show how they will use Spanish in the future. Congratulations to Miles Strelecki. The World Language Department would like to thank our candidate <clears throat> for their dedication and passion over the last four years. We look forward to seeing you where your Spanish takes you. Our next scholarship is the Autumn Gosmel Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established by family and friends in memory of Adam, who was about to start his senior year at Chico High School in August of 1997. Adam was an amazing soccer player, and his family makes this award to students who have shown talent and dedication to the sport. This year's recipients are Elizabeth Pena. And Connor Pugh. Our next award is the Gerald Geiger Memorial from the Butte County Farm Bureau. Tonight, it is our pleasure to present a deserving member of the 2021 Chico High School graduating class with the Butte County Farm Bureau's Gerald M. Geiger Scholarship. This scholarship is presented in memory of former Butte County Farm Bureau president, director and member Gerald M. Geiger. We are proud to honor Mr. Geiger's tremendous support of agriculture education with the awarding of this scholarship each year to Butte County High School seniors. The main requirement of this, of this scholarship is that recipients must pursue a college degree in agriculture. The Butte County Farm Bureau selects individuals who have shown interest in agriculture with involvement in FFA, livestock animal projects, and agriculture entrepreneurship all while being academically successful in the classroom. The recipients of this scholarship have shown passion for agriculture at an early age, and we hope that their passion continues beyond their college experience. It is our privilege tonight to award Carly Hawkins with a $1,500 Gerald M. Geiger Scholarship. Our next award is the Holly Day Barnett Memorial Scholarship. Holly was a 1993 Chico High School graduate and captain of the women's volleyball team. At UC Santa Cruz, Holly started on the volleyball team as a freshman, but soon devoted her time and energy to agree in the geological and earth sciences. She was an up and coming staffer at the US Geological Survey when a rare, fast moving cancer took her life at 25. Her friends and family established this scholarship to commemorate her hearty enjoyment of life, which included parties, athletics, and science. This year's Holly Day Barnett Memorial Scholarship is Elizabeth Pena. Our next scholarship is the Danny Imhoff Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established by family and friends of Danny who was to start his junior year in August of 1997. Danny's family makes this award to a student who they feel embodies the spirit of their son. Smart, but not necessarily great grades, unique individual, mellow personality, smile, positive attitude, quick wit, skiing enthusiast, no dress code, love for baseball and the outdoors. This year's Danny Imhoff Memorial Scholarship is Dalton Ramey. <clears throat> Our next scholarship is the Alvester Family Student Athlete. The Victor Alvester Student Athlete Scholarship was created in 2020 in memory of Victor Alvester. 
Victor was the owner of Aero Union Corporation located at the Chico Airport. Among other things, the company provided aerial firefighting planes for forest fire control. Victor was a leading businessman in the Chico community. Victor's four children attended Chico High where they were all student athletes. Victor was an ardent fan of CHS sports and always encouraged academic excellence. In his honor, the family is establishing this scholarship to maintain this tradition. The recipients this year of the Alvester Family Scholarship is Hunter Thomas, and Stephen Schaefer. The scholarship for Donnie Hayes goes to Dalton Ramey. The Robert Glenn Hartman Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship honors First Lieutenant Hartman, a 1962 Chico High grad who died at the age of 24 from wounds in the Vietnam War. His classmates established this scholarship in his memory for a student who has demonstrated community and school involvement and will major in a STEM discipline in college. This scholarship is awarded to Hunter Thomas. The Cindy Kennedy Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was started to honor the legacy of Cindy Kennedy, her love of learning, cultural awareness, and humanitarian work. It is the aim of this scholarship to support the type of spirit and determination that Cindy believed is required for young people to realize their dreams. The recipient to this $1,000 scholarship is offered in memory of Cindy Kennedy. From mundane tasks to major endeavors, Cindy lived her life with a high spirit and a dogged determination. From a young age, she used a goal-oriented approach to realize her many dreams. She traveled to over 30 countries, graduated summa cum laude from Chico State with a degree in multicultural and gender studies, and founded Namaste House, an orphanage in Pokhara, Nepal. In addition, Cindy was a devoted friend to many and was always available to lend a word of advice, a sympathetic ear, or a hand in support. This scholarship aims to support the type of spirit and determination that Cindy believed is required for young people to realize their dreams. We are pleased to announce Elizabeth Pena as the recipient of the 2021 Cindy Kennedy Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Elizabeth. The Linda Louise Nassi Memorial Scholarship. In October of 1994, a group of seven CHS staff led by Linda Nassi, the former comptroller at CHS, formed a social club and named it the Chico High Rowdy Girls. Over the years, the group has grown to 16 members, and although we're not quite as rowdy as we used to be, we still have a lot of fun together. The group awards these scholarships to young women who have embodied the spirit of Linda and have a great potential for success. These re the recipient for this scholarship is Anna Calvert. So we've come to the final grouping of our scholarships. And these are known as the Chico Community Scholarship Association. Um, and so this is comprised of people that have lived in Chico and have had a special connection to Chico High School, or they had a student um, at Chico High School, or they worked at Chico High School. There's, there's all types of connections, or their, their businesses in the area. And I just want to say, they, they're just, there's so many of them. And if it wasn't for these people that gave to us, um, a lot of our students uh, might not have the opportunities that they have. I also want to say that there's a lot of um, some students that weren't able to be with us tonight, and I know I want to thank you for being here, but even those who aren't able to be here, 
I realize it's very busy. We've got a multitude of sporting competitions going on. We have a multitude of other um, events because we're obviously packing a year's worth of events in the last three months. So I don't want to, anybody to take it as a sign of disrespect uh, by myself or any others. You guys are living a busy life right now. We just appreciate your accomplishments. Um, so the Chico Community Scholarship Association, um, let me read you their mission. The mission of the Chico Community Scholarship Association is to provide scholarship assistance by helping donors establish and award scholarships to deserving graduating seniors of the Chico Unified School District area who would intend to further their studies at an accredited institution of higher le learning. I appreciate the board, uh, the people that, that help run this organization and wanna send a shout out to them with all their, their duties behind the scenes. So without further ado, we'll complete our scholarship ceremony with this final grouping. The Seroptimus International of Chico. Seroptimus is a global organization that provides women and girls with access to the education and training that they need to achieve economic empowerment. The 2020-21 winner is Kendra Johnson, who volunteers <laughs> at Jan's Rails to Trails Rescue Sanctuary. Kendra received $500, and the Rescue Sanctuary received $500 as well. the AAUW Sydney Stewart Memorial and Jana Lawton Honorarium. The AAUW advances equity for women and girls through advocacy, education, research, and philanthropy. AAUW was founded in 1881 and is headquartered in Washington, DC. The local Chico branch was founded in 1920. The scholarship for the Sydney Stewart Memorial goes to Audrey Moore. The scholarship for the Jana Lawton Honorarium goes to Gemma Chatterton. This next scholarship is anonymous and, and the donor prefers to remain anonymous. And it goes to Gao Nu Lo. Karen and Ernie Washington. This is a new endowed scholarship and the donors chose a student hoping to go to a four-year university and may be the first in their family to do so. This scholarship goes to Chong Lor. The Joe Crane Memorial. Living almost to his 103rd birthday, Joe Crane was, a demanding and ador was demanding and adored math teacher who hailed from Missouri and taught for 45 years, 35 of those at Chico High and six at Notre Dame. After retirement, he continued helping students by tutoring for free. He was a longtime supporter of the Chico Community Scholarship Association. The recipient of this scholarship is Alexis Hayton. The Beta Chapter of Omega Nu. The Beta Chapter of Omega Nu focuses its charitable contributions on worthwhile needs in the greater Chico area. The recipient of this scholarship is Miss Alicia Bass. Also, Graciela Aguilar. And Elizabeth Pena. The next scholarship is the Hugo Jiski Memorial and the Margaret J. 
Jiski Memorial. This scholarship is funded by Teresa Jiski, Hugo Jiski's daughter. The recipients for the Hugo Jiski Memorial is Caden Strong. And the recipient for Margaret J. Jiski Memorial, Mr. Chandler Long. The McCamus Military Scholarship Fund. The donor, Renee McCamus, chooses to award this scholarship to a female with a parent or close relative in the military. The recipient that was chosen, Elizabeth Pena. <laughs> PEO Sisterhood Chapter VB. PEO is an international organization dedicated to helping women advance through education while supporting and motivating them. The recipient to this scholarship is Ellie Aguirre. Congratulations. Our next award is the Roger Williams Family Award. Many of you know that Roger Williams was a dedicated teacher, principal, and coach who devoted 35 years to education and student growth. During his 23 years as principal of Chico High School, he was steadfast in promoting educational opportunities for all students. In his honor, Roger's family established a scholarship fund to encourage deserving high school students to pursue their educational goals, expand their horizons, and strive for service above self. This year's recipient is Anthony Bearden. <clears throat> The Red and Gold Award. This scholarship is funded by Sarah Simmons, a former teacher and administrator within Chico Unified School District. It was founded in honor of her father, Willie Simmons, and her brother, Sam Simmons, both of whom taught at Chico High. This year's recipient is Soyid Estrada. And Melanie Rivas Rosales. Our next awards come from Chico Rotary. Rotary is a global network of 1.2 million neighbors, friends, leaders, and problem solvers who see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe and in our communities and in ourselves. Chico freshman scholarships are awarded to graduating seniors from Chico High School attending California State University Chico or other accredited four-year colleges or universities. This year's recipient is Bayless Enns. The Chico Rotary of Houston's award recipient is Lexi Ledwith. The Chico Rotary Dottie Locke Scholarship is a Chico Rotary Foundation Endowed Scholarship Fund that was established by a bequest from Dottie Locke and given to Chico area students to further their education at a college or university level. This year's recipient is Alexander Delapak. The Chico Rotary Montgomery Stipend, the Montgomery Scholarship in honor of Fred Montgomery, is awarded for one year to a graduate of Chico High School. To the extent such a determination can be objectively made, the student should be the most proficient in inspiring scholarship within the Chico Unified School District. And this year's recipient is Anna Calvert.
Here we go. Congratulations, Anna. This next award is new, the Chico High Resilient Award. Looking back at the 2021 school year, it was not an easy year for anyone. And the Resilient Scholarship goes to a young man who finished his senior year with an overall GPA of 3.97. He chose to spend his time in doing some great local work and with great local work experience and shows a true care for others and a continued great attitude. This year's recipient is Ian Stewart. Our next award is the Colin Sweeney Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship, these scholarship recipients are selected by the parents of Colin Sweeney, Brian and Karen Sweeney. Colin was a senior at Chico High at the time of his death in October of 2006. This year's recipients are Abby Leach, <laughs> Kiana Boyd, and Piper Sneed. Congratulations. The Discovery Shop Scholarship. This entirely volunteer nonprofit runs a discovery shop in downtown Chico. It's a thrift shop. They donate its profits to various other nonprofits. This scholarship goes to Amanda Harris. The Dorothy and N.T. Inlow Memorial. N.T. Inlow was a physician and the founder of the hospital with his name. Mrs. Inlow was a high school Latin and English teacher, and their daughter was Miss Ida King, who has donated to this fund annually, finally reaching the endowment level in 2013. Her criteria alternate each year between a recipient entering education or the medical field. The recipient of this scholarship goes to Gianna Rosini. The Golden Valley Bank Scholarship. The Golden Valley Bank Community Foundation is a nonprofit corporation that supports programs in the areas of financial literacy, the environment, health, human and family services, and best practices for small nonprofit organizations. The recipient of this scholarship goes to Holly Fortier. The Grodin Family Scholarship. The Grodin Family Scholarship was established by John and Maribeth Grodin to help support local students who want to become teachers. Their family has a long tradition of teachers, beginning with Florence Harrelson and their daughter Maribeth Grodin, grandchildren Steve Gr Stephen Grodin, and Jane Loser, and great granddaughter Aiden Loser. This scholarship goes to Miss Camille Cross. The Schaefer Family Scholarship. This is a new endowed scholarship donated by Peggy and Steve Schaefer. Steve was a longtime member of the Board of Chico Community Scholarship Association. The recipient of this scholarship goes to Emily Borgman. <laughs> the Joanne Palmer Scholarship. Joanne Palmer began this fund in 2013. She is a local businesswoman and is 
is an active member of the local chapter of the American Association of University Women. She participates in the selection of the recipients. The recipient of this scholarship is Ms. Kayla Kirsch. The Sierra North Valley Realtors Scholarship has been awarded to Miss Anna Calvert. The Alberta Simic Honorary. This scholarship is funded annually by Chico Community Scholarship Association in appreciation for the many years Alberta Simic has served CCSA and the students of Chico as a board member, counselor, and educational advisor. This scholarship goes to Kendra Johnson. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Abbott Scholarship. This scholarship is funded by, and the recipients chosen by, Judy and Stephen Abbott. This scholarship goes to Mr. Oscar Medina. The Eddie Booth Memorial Scholarship. Eddie Booth was a central figure in reporting on and promoting baseball in the Chico and Butte County area for over 40 years. He was the sports editor at the Chico Enterprise Record and dubbed Mr. Chico to honor his many contributions to the community. His son, Ed Booth Jr., is active in the selection of this award's recipient. And the recipient of this award and scholarship goes to Jack Hervey. Sprague Family Scholarship. The Sprague Family Scholarship is funded annually by Dr. and Ms. Monroe Sprague. And the recipient is Dylan Lane. The Four Foundation Scholarship. The Four Foundation is a private nonprofit based in Chico whose focus is to provide education to the people of California regarding environmental issues. The recipient of this scholarship goes to Madison Hoff. Hunter Thomas. Congratulations. The next scholarship is the Bula Rebecca Lodge number 60. The Bula Rebeccas are the female division of the International Order of the Oddfellows, which is a global altruistic and benevolent fraternal organization. This scholarship goes to Allison Richelieu. Tri-Counties Bank Scholarship. Established in 1975, Tri-Counties Bank is headquartered in Chico, California. A key element of fulfilling the bank's mission is to invest in community-minded and intellectually gifted students, which will in turn strengthen our communities. The recipient of this award is Edward Resendez. The Spirit of Janie Nickerson Scholarship. Dedicated to the memory of Janie Nickerson, a lifetime swimmer, fierce competitor, and loyal teammate, the Spirit of Janie Nickerson Scholarship is given to a member of the Chico High swim team that shares the exemplary characteristics of its namesake. The scholarship is awarded to someone who, like Janie, dedicates her time on the team to ensuring all feel welcome and included 
regardless of their ability or history with the sport, puts teammates and the respective coaches first, maintains a positive attitude, and leaves it all in the pool when it comes time to race. The recipient of this scholarship is Brianna Garman. The Betty Kimball Memorial Scholarship. Betty Ibenez Kimball's family established La Hacienda Restaurant, Chico Community Scholarship Association, and the school counselors select a Chico High student for this award. And this award recipient is Miss Anna Hicks. John Powell Memorial Scholarship. Chico Community Scholarships Association awards this scholarship in honor of John Powell, who was a CCSA board member and treasurer for over 30 years. He was a CPA and founding partner of the John A. Powell and Associates. This recipient who receives this scholarship is Stephen Schaefer. the Richard Powell Honorary Scholarship. This scholarship is funded by Chico Community Scholarship Association in appreciation for the many years Rich Powell served on our board of directors as treasurer. The recipient of this scholarship is Tobias Pope. The Virginia Jones Chico High School Scholarship goes to Emily Arroyo. And Tessa Kidd. Our next award is the Josephine Arnold Endowed Memorial Scholarship. Josephine Arnold taught English at Chico Junior High. The number of scholarships awarded each year is determined by the funds available. They are usually awarded to students entering the education field. This year's recipient is Connor Pugh. The Alpert Family Scholarship is funded by the family, and recipients are chosen by Julie and Bruce Alpert. This year's recipient is Avery O'Dell. And our final set of scholarships tonight are the CCSA General Scholarships. The following students have been selected for these scholarships from the CCSA General Fund in recognition of outstanding scholarship citizenship, and community service. This year's recipients are Jenna DiMaggio, <laughs> Noah Eisenman, <laughs> Mia Heim, <laughs> Ava Martinez, Zachary Plants, and Dalton Ramey. Congratulations to all of our class of 2021 scholarship and awards recipients. You should be receiving scholarship and award details in the mail or via email from the organizations and donors from this evening. If you do not hear anything from your donor, please see Robin Carrier in the main office at CHS. Please take the time to thank them for their contribution to your education. We are honored to celebrate your accomplishments and wish you all well in your future endeavors. At this time, Mr. Williams will have a few closing remarks as you celebrate your evening. Thank you so much. 
so I wanted to throw some numbers on here really quick and thank a few people if you'd give me a moment. Um, the last group of scholarships, uh, the community, uh, Chico Community Foundation, um, they've given almost $4 million worth of scholarships since uh, they started 50 years ago, which is about 4,700 students that benefited from that. And tonight, uh, there was 100 and, uh, over 100 students who received scholarships from in excess of $230,000. You're gonna hear me talk about um, the thin line of being a Chico High graduate. So you're part of that, that line now that when you leave Chico High School uh, and you move out into the world, it doesn't really matter where you go. And you heard tonight people in Nepal, uh, people in uh, South Africa, Europe, uh, Russia. I mean, Chico High graduates, Durham, are right here and they're everywhere. Please go out and be successful, be kind people. Uh, I want to thank uh, everyone that helped put this on. There's a lot of work, you guys, that goes in this. I first want to thank my two presenters, Sarah Pasillas and Ann McMahon. Great job. Carly, please come up on stage. Carly and Amy Beard, please. Come on up. So these two young ladies filled in as interns in our counseling office this year and did an amazing job. This is a monumental task, and for their first year to organize this, I'm truly impressed. Thank you, ladies, very much. Good job, students. I'd also like to thank Trisha Davey. Where are you? Over by the door there. Thank you for coming tonight. Also a member of our counseling staff. Mr. Doug Wyan over here making sure uh, the wise owl looks down upon us and we're doing everything correctly. Uh, and Angie Wisdom, rock star, clerical person for the counseling office. And then, and behind the scenes, you can't see him, but Patrick Passetti, who runs the technical aspects of this. Thank you, Patrick, back there. And Phil Morgan's probably up there somewhere helping with the facility. This was an unbelievable evening. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Um, we, we have kind of a slogan we're starting with CHS because I, I have a fond memory of Chico High School. And uh, the slogan goes like this. C is for community, H is for honor, and S is for scholarship. You have demonstrated that you are community members, honorable people, and scholastic achievers. Please continue to do those three things in the rest of your endeavors and you will have no worries in life and you'll be great success. Thank you for this evening and, and enjoy yourselves. Goodbye.